Uh, hi, I'm James Byrne. I'm uh, the author of uh, The Gatekeeper, and I was asked to answer five questions, and this is going to be a lot of fun, so we should get to it. Okay, it's Deadlock, which is the sequel to The Gatekeeper, uh, which came out in last year. This is a Des Limerick mystery. In this one, Des gets a call from a maid of his. Her sister's in trouble, has been attacked in Portland, Oregon. Des rolls up to see if he can help. Um, runs into an international conspiracy that involves the DEA, uh, uh, the Witness Protection Program, the U.S. Marshal Service, and a major international corporation. And Des being Des, he gets involved. Here it is. I love this one. Tantalum. Tantalum is a chemical element. It is found in every cell phone, in every laptop computer. It's found in avionics. It's found in missile guidance systems. It's found in all sorts of microelectronics. And it is mined in some of the most dangerous places on Earth, places with terrorism and failed states. So that juxtaposition that we absolutely have to have this chemical element and it's really, really dangerous to mine, oh, that was too good to pass up. I had to use that in this plot. It's elegant stuff. And I got two answers, one traditional, one not. First answer is The List of Adrian Messenger, 1959, written by the Englishman Philip MacDonald. Brilliant mystery and thriller. I go back and reread this about once every five to 10 years to remind myself of the elegance and the beauty of the structure of this plot. The List of Adrian Messenger, Philip MacDonald. Second answer, non-traditional, um, the Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton. Now this is not traditionally thought of as a murder mystery or a thriller, but to me it is. Robin Cook gets credited with inventing the medical mystery in 1977 with coma. Nope, that credit should go to Michael Crichton and the Andromeda Strain. That was the first medical mystery, and that book is brilliant. While reading Meg Gardner's Heat 2, brilliant, wonderful novel. You gotta, you gotta read that. Um, it's a sequel to Michael Mann's film, Heat. Anything written by Greg Hurwitz, by Robert Cray, by uh, Nick Petrie. I love that genre. I love those guys. They're all amazing writers. What am I watching? Well, I recently watched Glass Onion uh, by Ryan Johnson. He's the writer-director. He also did Knives Out in the TV series um, Poker Face. All really good, really terrific. His best movie and his best script, 2007, The Brothers Bloom. You gotta see that if you're a Ryan Johnson fan. It is an absolute magnum opus. The Brothers Bloom. Now the third Des book, uh, that manuscript is in the hands of my uh, editor at St. Martin's Press Minotaur. Hoping to hear back soon on what they think about that. Fourth one, I've got some good ideas. They're pinging around in my brain. I'm not sure where I'm going with them just yet. I have another novel, a manuscript, that's finished. It's sitting on my literary agent's desk right now. It's out of cycle. It is not a Des book. It's uh, unrelated to Des. Could see if some we get some traction with that one. And I'm about 100 pages into another thriller idea that's been tobogganing around into my brain pan now for about three months. I'm not sure I'm gonna get a lot of traction on it, but it seems like it might be a good idea, so I'll play with it. But in the meantime, the third book of the Dez series is written. Deadlock comes out in August. I'm James Byrne, and this has been a lot of fun. Thanks.